And everybody talks about writing female characters, but I think a lot of attention needs to go into writing characters of all gender, mm. particularly male, because they have been invested with such, you know, toxic traits. It's so unfair. What marks Bangalore is for me and for practically everyone who's watched it is that the men here are all exemplary. You know, like, you know, Aju, who is the biker and he's angry and everything. To me, he's more, he has a mother figure um, kind of attitude. He's really nurturing. I'm not sure. 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 And like Kuttan is, you know, he's so, so scandalized and he's so delicate and, you know, he's like play acting and being this big, bold guy. You know, the boys are also protective without being overbearing, which is very much a trope otherwise mm -hmm. that, oh, I'm going to protect you, but by covering you up and putting you in a cage. And even Shiva, you know, he comes across as a little cold and a little dark initially, but does his own chores, doesn't expect too much from her. That's When you watch the film for the first time, he does need to come across as someone who's cold and, you know, not responsive and not interested possibly and yes a bit of you know a person you don't really like too much because yeah. he's such a killjoy he in is, the face yeah. of you know everything yeah. else but when you know his backstory and then you watch the same performance you need to be able to see that this is a man who's hurting from his past you need to be able to see that this guy is actually protective that everything that he's doing he may not yeah. be articulating himself yeah. but it's coming from a good space that he cares so that was the the trick of that performance. Every time you know something and you watch it again, it still needs to make sense. Right. So that's what we did with with Das and Shiv. You know, it's beautiful when the, that whole resolution, you know, the whole bike thing, when you realize that he's yelling at her. Divya. Ini ori kilo the repeat here. What? In the cousins in today's life. Ori vivere or lathe idiots are not in the cousins. Divya, people die doing such stupid things. Because you, your initial thing is that, oh, he's just yelling at her because she's having fun. Yeah, you know, he exactly, doesn't like it. Exactly. He's probably a little jealous of the cousins, you know. But actually, when the moment that clicks, then you would think, oh, yeah. There is something about women who grew up around boys, mm -hmm. you know. And, <laughs> you know, um, what I want to know is, like, does this also inform Divya's personality? Like, you know, your perception of the world, it's a man's world, but the men in your world are such decent human beings. So what happens? Like, does it make you more trusting? Or, you know, do you hold other men to higher standards? You know, I think what? higher standards, definitely. Because I, I've, yeah, grown up with brothers. And I mean, even, even now, all of us have sons. We yeah. don't have daughters, unfortunately. <laughs> so th there are more men, uh, you know, in, in our family. And uh, fortunately... There are men who I'm proud of, yes. you know, and uh, the whole thing about higher standards is a very real thing because you grow up a certain way and you grow up, you know, respecting and being respected. So you do not see, you know, that that kind of a differentiation based on gender. Yeah. And when you come across that later in other spaces of your life, then that's, you know, it takes a little time. Yeah. Therefore, therefore your worldview is, is of, uh, you know, people where they have different identities and gender is only a part of it. Right. It's not, your world is not divided into, you know, a, a but the outside, boxes. But the outside world is, you know, much more Maybe, but as harsher. a writer, yeah, you're, writer, yeah. you're creating a world, right. isn't it? Right. And, and the men you see are also not really in boxes. No. Where I really think it's important, everybody talks about writing female characters, but I think a lot of attention needs to go into writing characters of all gender, mm. particularly male, because... They have been invested with such, you know, toxic traits. It's so unfair. The regular guy you meet is not, like, not like that. that. No. And, and it's so unfair that they can't be vulnerable and they have to be heroic and they have to be solution finders and rescuers and, and all of that. I mean, it's incredibly difficult and to be also, like that. It also lacks complexity completely. 
there is no nuance to male characters then uh, you know there is that push pull right you see that's mostly with in especially with kutan like there's the comfort but also the claustrophobia of home <laughs> When you're a professional migrant, you have to constantly straddle these two things. Uh, with a lot of women leave as married women. Mm-hmm. Is it different? Is it different for men and women? Do you think like for Divya, is it different from what Kutan is going through? Uh, just that, you know, the claustrophobia, is it stronger? I think Kutan is far more, um, how does one say... rooted in his culture or rather he's choosing to be he's conservative actually that's the word he's conservative and he's resistant to change so when he aspires to go to bangalore and you know to have a fun time he doesn't want to change no you know he wants to hold on to his matta rice and you know he he wants all <laughs> of that but he wants to go to bangalore have fun yeah. check out everything look at what other people are doing and you know he 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 has the strong sense of um, of 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 vicarious enjoyment so when aju says you know i went for this race kutan is even more excited than he is because you know <laughs> he's never going to race but yeah, you know it's yeah. it's it's what somebody else he knows is doing so that is is very strong in him and he there is a warrior in him yeah you know so it, it it's all constantly but looking at others and, but it comes from his judgmental personality is totally, what you said it's totally. just like oh, yeah and and that, and that whole uh, conversation about samskaram yeah. you know kashtam kerala thana samskaram thane nalladu aa endha kerala thala rumu okkille edhil nadu road la rumu okkille aju idu namakku parannulla kaaryangal alla namakku nammada thaya oru samskaram ille he is he's so puritanical about it that you know you'll never get me for all this right and then finally when he discovers that Raju's probably moved on he's he's in <laughs> shock like how could you do that to me so very quickly i love the way we just danced around you danced around that whole thing it was very it's just his yeah his his shock and horror it was it was beautiful <laughs> <laughs> 